White Pine Copper Refinery is a 60,000 ton per year copper refinery located in White Pine, Michigan and owned by Hudson Bay Minerals Incorporated. In 2007, after extensive testing, a decision was made to replace the existing liberator cells with the EMU process to control copper in the tank house and to decopperize the electrolyte for nickel sulfate production. A total of eight modules consisting of 90 cells each were added to the White Pine refinery. Seven modules are used for copper control, and one module is used to replace the secondary liberator circuit, which decopperizes the solution for nickel sulfate production. The electrolyte bleed is pumped from tank house to the east and west E1 tanks. From there, the solution is pumped through modules B through H. Each module operates independent of the others, with individual pumps controlling the flow rate for each module. Electrolyte is returned to the tank house through the overflow from the E1 tanks. The decopperization circuit is run from the east and west E2 tanks in a semi-batch process. Electrolyte is recirculated through module A and the copper level is removed. Once the copper is removed from the electrolyte, the solution is sent to the nickel sulfate plant. Dick Barlock, plant manager of the White Pine Refinery, shares his experience with the EMU plant. Uh, installation of the plant began in uh, the fall of um, 2007. Uh, Startup and commissioning took place in February of 2008, uh, and the plant's been running continuous since then. Installation of the plant went quite well. Um, the cells were shipped in modular form from Australia. The modules were easily unloaded with an overhead crane. With the cells being a module form, everything went very well. They were easy to move along and put in place. The commissioning went very well. We were able to uh, start up with um, saleable product and on our first run. It's a very easy system to, to supervise. It's very straightforward. There's no um, things that you have to adjust or, or uh, try to tinker with. You're able to um, pretty much set things and then you just monitor, monitor them to be sure that they're um, holding and we haven't had no problems with, with anything, you know, it seems to be working very well. Harvesting is a simple and straightforward operation, taking two operators only a few hours per module to complete. An individual module is drained and the copper cathodes are removed and bundled. The stainless steel start starter sheet is then replaced. After the harvest is complete, the module can be restarted immediately. Here in EMU for six months, my job is harvest harvesting cathode, and it's, it's a pretty good job. I, I really enjoy doing it. There's different steps to the job, putting the modules on, taking a module off, the actual harvesting of the cathode, that's actually my favorite part, is the harvesting of the cathode. I used to be a circulator up in the tank house. Then I came here, I've been over here for about seven months now. I was in the process of when they were putting the plant together, I was helping on that. And now I'm steady over here as a harvester. I have no problems with it. It seems to be a pretty good plant that runs nice. The harvesting goes pretty good, and uh, when you have a good partner, things go a lot smoother. There's a big difference, obviously, when you uh, go out into the emu plant. There is no uh, acid mist smell whatsoever. It's very clean. Um, the other thing with the previous liberator cells, there was some safety issues. Um, handling and removing the electrodes with the uh, emu system, we don't have any issues as far as safety concerns with, uh, with the people doing the work.
cell maintenance with the uh, liberator cells. Uh, there was uh, scheduled maintenance on the cells that had to be cleaned and repaired. Um, we had uh, peril liners that had to be patched uh, with the EMU cells. So far we haven't had any cleaning and very little maintenance on the cells today. Previous electro winning process that was originally installed in the tank house, uh, a system which we call liberators, um, mainly used to control copper tenor in the tank house and also to decopperize uh, solution for the nickel sulfate plant. The cathode that was produced out of this process uh, did not meet B115 spec, therefore it was unsaleable material. So the material had to be returned to our smelter in Plinflon, Manitoba for remelting into anodes then to be sent back to the refinery. So by installing the EMU plant, we're enabled to convert the liberator cells into commercial cathode cells, which increased our uh, annual cathode production by 4%. I'm very pleased the way the plant was commissioned and startup went. It was, it was done very well and uh, pleasantly surprised. Our boss is pretty good. We hardly see him. He just when you don't come around, that means things are running great. It is good. I like it.